Hi, it's Joa from SpecialHeartStudio.com. Today I'm going to show you how to download and unzip files using a Windows 10 computer. I will also show you how to fix some settings to make it a little bit easier to identify which files are the actual SVG cut files to use with your cutting machine. So the first website I have open is my, my own website. Um, like I mentioned, specialheartstudio.com. I keep all of my free downloads in a library um, exclusively for subscribers to my email list. And I call that library my freebie vault. So I will come in here and we will download this Pray More, Worry Less SVG. I am using Microsoft Edge today, um, but Internet Explorer, Chrome, they all will work similarly. Some of them will have a viewer down here to, to see the download status, um, but I'm going to download one more just so I can show you a couple different ways to do this. So Design Bundles is my other favorite spot to find free Downloads, they also have incredible designers on there um, on the, that sell on that platform, design bundles and font bundles. Uh, but I will download this Mr. Cottontail carrot patch. Easter's coming soon enough. So now you'll see there's another one down here that's open. So we will click open. And if we go back to the base downloads, you can see the two downloads that I've just done. So SHS is my own Special Heart Studio. I always put that so that it's easier for um, users to remember where the download came from. And then, of course, the design bundle, Mr. Cottontails, that we just did. So we'll focus on that one first, just because it's on top. This one, I'm going to, since it's already highlighted, you can simply right-click. And then a little menu pops up and we are going to choose extract all. When you are unzipping or extracting, uh, the two words can be used interchangeably. Um, designs, Windows will ask you, do you want to put the contents, the unzipped contents, in a different folder? So if you have a folder where you keep all your SVGs, you could click the browse button and navigate to that folder and then click extract and they would be, you know, live there until you move them. Um, I'm going to leave these in my download folder, so I'm just going to click extract. So now you'll see that it's it's open the folders because the whoever the designer who created this file and zipped it was on a Mac. There is a Mac OS X folder. If you're using Windows, even Mac, use, Mac users wouldn't see that, but at Windows, you don't need that. So you can delete that file. You don't have to, but if, if it, I like it to keep my files cleaner. Um, that leaves me with the design bundle, Mr. Cottontails. I will double click that. And now you can see the contents. So we have the image of the sign. I have the licensing, which is in a PDF format. Um, there's also a DXF, an EPS, and a few other file formats here that's um, a little difficult to tell what they are. So a couple different ways you can do this is you can come up to view and you can change the views to be small icons, list, details can be helpful. So you'll see here Mr. Cottontail Carrot Patch or Carrot Patch. <laughs> Um, Microsoft Edge HTML document, but I know that that's the SVG. How you can tell, and somebody who doesn't work with SVG files all the time like I do, if you click this file name extensions, it then adds the shortcut and extension to these file names. So I really recommend leaving that checked all the time, and it'll be much easier to identify which of the file types, especially on Windows where it comes up with um, the file type being Microsoft Edge or a HTML document, Google Chrome. Um, and that happens because Windows doesn't natively know what to do with SVG files. So if we go back to the download folder, um, here is the one SHS Pray More Worry Less that we downloaded from my website. I double clicked that 
And you'll see similar to the same thing here. So now that I left that file name extension checked, it already came up with the file names, which is great. And you'll see on mine, I try to remember when I name the file to for it to say SVG. So if you don't have that checked, it's you can still kind of pick out that SVG, but it's still easier, especially I know people don't only download my files. <laughs> we all like files from lots of very variety of places and websites. And so it's easier to leave the file name extension checked. I hope this helps. In my next video, I will show you on a Windows computer how to download and install a SVG viewer extension so that instead of having these various browser logos, um, we can have thumbnails of the actual SVG. Once you become a collector of SVG files, it'll be a lot easier to identify what file is what that way. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please give my video a thumbs up and sub subscribe to my channel. Uh, I invite you and would love if you would visit my website, specialheartstudio.com. Thanks.